with the liberal media, I've experienced them also. <laughs> and uh, they will take what you say, try to distort it, uh, try to make it seem like you're mean-spirited, try to make you seem like you're arrogant, whatever they need to do in order to distort the message. Or that you're rich. Right. And you're trying to protect riches. Oh, yeah. Now, that, then you're public enemy number one. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Re regardless <laughs> of the fact that you may have come from the bottom rung of society, oh, yeah. now you're at the top rung, so you're evil. You know, this is craziness. And I think as more people begin to be able to think, and, and one of the things that I stressed in the book is how much the Founding Fathers emphasized the importance of an educated and well-informed populace because people who are well informed don't fall for that silliness as easily but if you can keep people relatively ignorant and have them you know spending all their time you know looking at this sport or that sport or this dancing with the stars or this talent <laughs> and and not really analyzing what's going on you can really lead those people quite easily particularly by repeating something over and over again whether it's true or not doesn't particularly matter. And some people have learned how to do that. And that's why our founding fathers said, if we ever become an ignorant society, an uninformed society, then the nature of our country will change.